A warm start to what's going to be the first of several very warm days. Temperatures this week, in fact, for the next eight or nine days, more like August than October. And that's the case now. 65 degrees, 66 is our normal high for this time of year. The temperature where at this hour of the day we typically would be, the average temperature for October the 6th is 46 degrees. <laughs> So we're nowhere near with rain at the airport and a calm wind right now and temperatures around the region all in the 60s, ranging from 60 in Waynesburg to 68 up in Newcastle. Everybody else is in between. And here's a look at that 24 hour temperature trend, taking us from the mid 60s into the upper 70s to around 80 for our high today before tailing off overnight back into the mid to upper 60s. Remember, these numbers are much more like late July, early August than they are early October. It's kind of hard to remember just how chilly early October can be, but the average low is 46 degrees, and we are nowhere near that anywhere in the next five to seven days. All right, here's a look right now at the light showers that are moving through the area, spotty activity. All of the heavy concentrated ac action is to our north up around Lake Erie, moving into Buffalo and away from us. So not to worry there. And as we look back to the west, you can see there's not a whole lot of development. I think many of you will get through the entire day rain free and maybe even the whole weekend. Most of us, I think, will see at one time or another a little bit of rain, a spotty shower or two and maybe an isolated storm. There are a couple out there now. Washington County, you can see there's just a little cluster here south of the I-70 corridor where they're seeing a little of a moderate to heavy rain, but it's all moving through so quickly and falling apart as it comes into western Pennsylvania. I don't think any of us will see anything severe, at least not for the next couple of days. Here's a look at future cast and on it you can see things are not very active, but there will be spotty showers off and on through the afternoon. Then we'll go quiet overnight before the activity builds up again tomorrow during the heating of the day in the afternoon hours. And then it quiets down again tomorrow night into the early part of the day on Monday. In terms of rainfall totals, not all that impressive. As you can see through 7.30 a.m. tomorrow, hardly anything. Now, as we move on into Monday, those totals will go up slightly, but I mean, you can tell how hit or miss it is. Some of us won't get anything. Some might see as much as a quarter of an inch, as is indicated there in Indiana, and everybody else will be somewhere in between those two totals. Here we are with 80 degrees for our high today. Remember, the average is 66. Showers and storms around, they'll be isolated, though. Some of you won't see any rain today or tomorrow. Spotty showers tonight, but again, very widely scattered. 66, the overnight low. That's the average high for the date. And then back up into the low 80s again tomorrow with, again, a slight chance, 20% chance of spotty showers. And the same will go for Monday. Now, Tuesday, we start to dry out a little bit, and we stay that way right into Thursday, Brenda, when a cold front approaches. That front will knock our temperatures back finally to where we belong by Friday. That would be, you know, low to mid-60s for highs, which is where we'll be but not until the end of this week.